Divide using place value. 6,396 divided by 3. Okay, on to the four-digit numbers. All right, well, that doesn't change anything. Let's just look at 6,396. And let's break it up into parts that we know how to divide by 3, or we, that are easy to divide by 3. 6, I know I can divide that by 3. 3, I know I can divide that by 3. So I'll just box those. 3, 9, I can divide by 3. And 6, I can divide by 3. Okay, so I'm going to split it up into four different parts. Split it up into 6,000 plus 300 plus 90 plus 6. Okay, make sure, the, make sure you've figured out the right place value for those numbers. And then they all get divided by 3. Okay, so 6,000 gets divided by 3, 300 gets divided by 3, 90 gets divided by 3, and 6 gets divided by 3. Okay, let's do this. 6 divided by 3 is 2, right? 2 times 3 is 6. 2 with three, three zeros on the end. So 2,000 plus 300 divided by 3. Well, 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then you chuck two zeros on the end. So plus 100. 90 divided by 3 is... 9 divided by 3 is 3 with 1 zero. 30, and then lastly, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Cool. Okay, and now we're just going to add those all up. 2,000 plus 100 plus 30 plus 2. You get 2,132. There you are. 6,396 divided by 3, 2,132. See, so it doesn't really make a difference now that it's a four-digit number, because you're still doing the the um, breaking apart in the same way as when it was two digit, when it was three digit. But you just maybe have a few more steps. And at the end, you end up with a bigger number. Okay, we've done a lot of these place value questions so far. Now we're already onto the four digits. I think you're ready for a shortcut. So actually, instead of writing out all these steps, once we get to the four digits, we're, we end up writing out a lot of these steps. And this is supposed to be a way to make our division easier, right? So let's I'm going to show you a shortcut now. So this actually can be done like this. 6,396 divided by 3. Another way of dividing using the place value is actually kind of just doing it directly um, by... So we remember we identified four different parts, right? Four, all those four parts are divisible by 3, or they're easy to divide by 3. So we can actually just do that directly here. We divide 6 divided by 3. Well, 6 divided by 3, we get 2. So we'll write a 2 underneath the 6. 3 divided by 3, that's 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we get 2,132. See, that's the same answer as we, as we got when we wrote out all the steps. Because actually, we're doing the exact same thing when we do that shortcut. 6 divided by 3, well, we got 2. Well, this 2 is in the thousands place, right? So this 2 actually represents a 2,000. So this 6 divided by 3 that we did is actually this step here, 6,000 divided by 3. And then the next step, 3 divided by 3, which we got 1, well, that's the 300 divided by 3 step which gives us 100, because see how this 1 is in the hundreds place, which represents 100. And same with the others, right? This 9 divided by 3, well, that's 90 divided by 3, which gives us 30, which is a 3 in the tens place. And the 6 divided by 3 is this part here. So if you're feeling comfortable with this place value thing, you can actually maybe just skip straight to this part and just do each individual part that's divisible by 3 by itself, okay? So place value does make it easier like, to, by doing it like that. And this actually is going to help you then when you get into long division, because long division kind of looks a little bit like this, okay? So there you have a shortcut. You can use that shortcut, or if you're still feeling like you want to write out the steps, because it makes it easier to understand which place value all the numbers are in, I encourage you then to just write out the steps. All right, but there's a shortcut if you're feeling like you're ready for a shortcut.